Uh. All things together, everyone's a seed. Half of us are satisfied, the other half in need. And love my fall in us, tarnished by our greed. Oh, when will there be a harvest for the world? Yeah, yeah. A nation's planted, so concerned with gain. As the seasons come and go, we mourn in vain. And far too many feeling the strain. Oh, when will there be a harvest for the world? A harvest. Dress me up for battle when all I want is peace. Those of us who pay the price come home with the least. And nation after nation are turning into beasts. Oh, when will there be a harvest for the world? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know right now uh, a harvest. Ooh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome to this mental house with me, your host, Khadija. And I'm sure by now y'all understand very well why I consider and call this a mental house. Right? And the first thing I want to do is I want to ask the ancestors to bless the people that are in war torn countries who are burying their babies. I pray that God lift the yoke of oppression off of these people. And I pray that anybody that is for peace stands for on the right side of history. I pray that anybody, anybody who sees their children different than other people see their children, I wish for God to come in and open up their eyes and remove the hatred out of their hearts because that's all it is when I see people that think life because it's wrapped in a Palestinian body is less than life wrapped in a Israeli body, then I know that that's a problem with humanity. All of us are precious in God's sight. All of us. You are not, and that's the problem with the world. We have some fragile individuals that consider themselves the chosen ones, the better ones, and by any means necessary, they'll do anything to keep that status. You know, y'all used to get mad at me when I would do the videos about the great blood shedder. And I wasn't lying. Because the Bible spoke, or the Quran also spoke of the great bloodshedder. They wasn't talking about Africans. They were not talking, the ancient scriptures and scrolls was not talking about African descent. So I'm going to leave it right there because I don't want to make this that kind of vlog. But what I do want to do 
is pray for everybody right now that's pulling their children out from the rubbles. I pray for everybody that's living in a war-torn hell right now. I also ask God to smite their enemies. Because when you start talking about God and God is on your side. Mm, mm, mm. What I think about people that had that kind of conversation is, no, you have more weapons and you are using them to the highest capacity. But that don't mean that God is with you. That means you're a bully. And you're taking your weapons of destruction to bully those who you deem less than. On both sides of the atrocity, I can just say that nobody wins in war. Nobody. Nobody. And with that being said, I'm going to go. If you like what you hear please like subscribe and share the channel and i'll see you in the next one